We're right in the middle of the Winter Tournament for College Valorant West. So let's take a look back at what's happened so far and what we can look forward to in the playoffs. Looking back to the Fall Tournament, the Grand Finals had SJSU versus UBC, which means both teams will be headed to the championship. However, in the battle for first, SJSU took the win over UBC 3-0. Let's hear from UBC's Hemmer. Um, we kind of went into that tournament without many expectations, so to come out in second felt pretty exciting. Obviously it's not first, but we still got the qualification for the championship at the end of the year, so... Now onto the Winter Tournament. Phase 1 consisted of round-robin groups with up to six teams in each group. And the pressure is on, as both SJSU and UBC are competing again in the Winter Tournament. So how's it been going so far in the Winter? Winter's been pretty good for us so far. Obviously we expect to do well in the Winter, but with a lot less pressure on our backs, I think we're just going to try to have a little more fun with it this time. Another team competing is Demigods, whose player Melvin almost made it to the Valorant Championship Tour. How did that happen? So the story behind almost qualifying for VCD was actually like really unexpected, I feel like, because we went to the whole open qualifier not really expecting anything from playing, but once we reached around like the end of like 16 and so on, we were like, okay, this could seriously happen, but unfortunately it didn't. But hopefully next year we get to that point. How's it been going so far in the winter? It hasn't been that much of a challenge so far. Hopefully it becomes harder when playoffs come, but so far it's pretty, pretty smooth sailing. Speaking of playoffs, let's talk about phase two. With the top two teams of every group moving on, this is the playoffs bracket. Now, if we take a closer look, the middle of the bracket is where it really gets interesting. A rematch of SJSU and the University of Alberta, the third placing team in the fall tournament, may happen as soon as the round of eight. But before that, the University of Alberta may have to face off against demigods in the round of 16, which is also where up here in the bracket we may see a civil war, with UBC facing off against UBC Blue. But with the first two rounds of the bracket being single elimination, anything can happen. What should we look forward to in the playoffs? Um, I think we'd like to see Alberta in the finals with us. Obviously, I think it'd be a little fun to have an all-Canadian matchup in the West, but I think Alberta is also one of those teams that probably deserves to be in the championships. I feel like us as a team, we're really taking as like small steps. So I feel like it's our goal to like qualify first and then from there, you know, we'll, we'll like change our goal into like winning. The playoffs for the College Valorant West Winter Tournament kick off soon, so stay tuned to see what happens and to root for your favorites.